Hi, Libra. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or welcome back. Thank you so much. If you are a returning Libra, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate you. If you're a new Libra, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you. And hey, Libra, happy birthday. This is your love reading for the month of October 2019. I hope you're returning Librans like the new angle and set. This is my little Halloween set. Happy Halloween, everybody. I know it's a little early, but I am excited. All right, so I've been shuffling your energy into the decks for about 10 minutes, so we're ready to get started. Uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. Okay, and also if you're new, you'll notice that I use my pendulum to determine whether the cards should be upright or reversed. So you're not confused when you see me whip her out, all right? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, please show me the love energies for the Zodiac Collective of Libra. Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2019, please. Love energies. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Libra for October 2019. Lady V spread, please. Hope you guys are uh, doing good. Tonight is the, I'm actually recording this on the eve of the autumnal equinox. So I'm excited. I'm a record some videos, you know, do some readings, and then go cook a nice pork roast with some uh, apples and fennel and onions and a bunch of autumnal deliciousness, okay? Looking forward to that. So, happy Maybon to all you who actually celebrate Maybon, which is the autumn equinox. Okay, having a problem here. All right, spirit, we are about ready. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. October 2019, please. Show me what I need to see. I thought I'd change it up a little bit for October, so I am using the Everyday Witch deck for, I don't know who it is, I'll list who it is in the description box, who it's by, but I'm going to lay out your cards. I'm just going to go ahead and put them out. Changing things up just a little bit with this new spread, or with this new view, I mean. Yes. All right. Your overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Nice. We'll see what direction it's supposed to be in. But let's see your cards. We have the Ace of Cups, the Tower, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Devil, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. Wow, lots of wands. Whoa. Uh oh. Sorry, I got I got my fairy, my little fairy charm. Got her wings stuck on my web here. She got caught in the web. Alright, so spirit. Upright or reverse, please. The Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Tower. The Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Devil, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. All right, thank you so much, Spirit. Appreciate you. Okay. Let me get these nice and pretty. 
Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to wear this bracelet with this tablecloth. <laughs> All right, so, man, that's terrible. All right, so your overall energy is the Ten of Cups, Libra. Congratulations. Uh, don't know why you're watching a tarot reading if you're this happy, but maybe this energy just hasn't hit you yet. But the Ten of Cups is absolute emotional bliss. It's in the air. It's around you. It's at your door. It's uh, being thought about or actually lived out. We will find out in just a moment how you feel about your person, Libra. Uh, you love them just a wee bit. Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is your love overflows for them. It's a, you want a new beginning with them in love, but you definitely love them with the Ace of Cups as your feelings. How they see you, maybe as rebuilding or trying to avoid some type of disaster here with this tower in reverse, the tower upright, obviously, destruction. Um, this is the energy of trying to avoid that disaster or of rebuilding after that disaster for me. Okay, so that's how they see you, how they feel about you. The Queen of Pentacles, uh, they feel that you are definitely marriage material when I see this card in that position. That's immediately what I hear. The Queen of Pentacles is a wife. The Queen of Pentacles is the perfect homemaker. She will take care of you, nurture you. She is good with her coins. She's not going to go crazy with the credit cards. She is good with the coins. She is a great homemaker. And, uh, you know, she's going to be your nursemaid when you're sick. She Marriage material. That's, that's the best way to describe her, okay? Uh, for me. Okay. In the past... somebody was maybe a little bit detached with this king of swords it could have been or there could have been an air sign of significance in your past uh gemini libra aquarius if i didn't say before cups the ten of cups and the ace of cups are water energy scorpio cancer pisces the tower is scorpio energy and the queen of pentacles is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn okay so this king of swords in your past uh, could have been an actual person, like I said, with air in their chart or just somebody who just comes across as more of a thinker than a feeler. And that is the King of Swords. He is more of a thinker than a feeler. He is, he comes across as a little bit cold and detached sometimes. Doesn't mean that he doesn't feel. He just thinks first. And uh, he's not going to ever be led by his emotions. Uh, so there could have been a little bit of detachment or, uh, like I said, an air sign of significance or somebody might have spoken a truth. There could have been words had with this because swords are communication. Your current energy, somebody is or something is releasing with this devil. The devil in upright is being tied and bound to something or feeling tied and bound to something. Uh, also toxicity it can be. So in the reverse, when I see that as your current energy, I see that either somebody is releasing from this connection altogether or just the toxicity of this connection is releasing, okay? Like the burden is being released, the toxicity is being released, okay? That's current. The action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you is the Eight of Wands. That is my out of the blue card. It is... A very fast moving energy it is passionate with because they're wands and it's it's a lot of wands they're sometimes called the arrows of love you can't really see that in this card but you can see kind of like a whirlwind going on and that is pretty much what the eight of wands is like it's kind of like a that whirlwind energy uh and it's you know it's usually good it, it i guess it could be bad um it represents also distance possibly travel they may be traveling to come see you uh but I feel like you may be getting some kind of passionate communication out of the blue from this person. Uh, it doesn't really say whether you guys are on a break right now, but they see you as rebuilding after a tower moment or trying to avoid a tower moment altogether. And there is some kind of toxicity releasing right now or getting ready to like it's at the door. So it's possible that many of you are on a break from this person uh, but you don't have to be. For sure, you don't have to be. You could have just had a real bad uh, argument um, or be thinking about, you know, moving on or something. Because it looks like your advice, you are at the crossroads, Libra. You have to make a decision about something, and it's an important decision. It's a life-altering decision. 
it's going to determine like what direction you go in a certain area of your life. So it is a crossroads and it's an important one. So you are being uh, advised to make that choice. Okay, I'm being told that you are at a crossroads and it's an important decision that you have to make. Ultimately, in the outcome, now we're going to get two more cards, but in the outcome, you've got the Queen of Wands. I mean, that's beautiful, sexy energy. It doesn't have to be sexy. It could just be very passionate about a new idea or just staying on top. No matter what happens, no matter what storms come, the Queen of Wands is going to be on top. The Queen of Wands takes action. She gets stuff done. She's usually always got some kind of project going on, but she is a sexy beast, and everyone wants to either be with her or be her. Um... And so she is your energy in the outcome. So this could be you. This could be your person. Fire energy, by the way. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or it just could be the energy of the connection at, you know, October's end. All right. So let's get some more cards and see what we can find out. All right. Spirit, please clarify these cards. I'm using, by the way, the Tarot of Vampires for my clarifying deck here. Appropriate for October. All right. So... Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, for love, for October 2019, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love, for October 2019, please. Hang on a sec. I just want to make sure Spirit of the Top 8 cards, the correct cards to clarify for Libra. And the overall energy is at the bottom of the deck. Thank you so much. All right. So what do we have here, Libra? How are you feeling about your person on top of that Ace of Cups? You love them. You want to kiss them. You want to marry them. Maybe. Let's see. You have the priestess. All right, I'm getting back to my old ways here. I was going to lay all the cards out and then go over them like that. Let's do that. Sorry. The priestess clarifying. Then we have the daughter of knives, which would be the page of swords. Then we have the eight of knives, which would be the eight of swords. Then we have the lovers. I'll show you the cards up close in a minute. That's for the past. The current energy is the Four of Scepters. Interesting. That would be the Four of Wands. Very nice. Action they're most likely to take towards you, Libra, is the Star. Beautiful. Your advice is the Lord of Skulls, which is the King of Pentacles. Currently in reverse. Your outcome on top of that Queen of Wands is Judgment. Currently in reverse. Card of Scorpio. We will see overall energy, four of knives. Now, what did I just say? I didn't know if you were on a break, but yeah, pretty much most of you are on a break from this person or coming off of one. Let's find out. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, upright or reverse the four of knives, please. The priestess. The daughter of knives. The Eight of Knives, The Lovers, The Four of Scepters, The Star, The King of Skulls, Judgment. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, this is definitely supposed to be upright. Everything is actually. All right, Libra. So yeah, your overall energy is one of rest and uh, recuperation, thinking, doing a lot of thinking. Maybe, like I said, on a break from this person right now, 
maybe no communication. Uh, but I feel like during this period of no communication, for those of you that are on it, uh, there is a lot of thinking going on about the stability, future, and future of this connection and the happiness that it could bring, the potential for it. Um, yeah. Ten of Cups, Four of Knives. All right, so clarifying that Ace of Cups as your feelings is the priestess. So, yeah, you love this person. I feel that you feel uh, you feel very intuitively about this person. You're obviously here getting a tarot reading. That's something the high priestess would do um, about this person. You're trying to find out about this person. You may feel... You may be feeling like you need to keep a secret from this person. Some of you may be keeping a secret from this person. Actually, that just came to me. I feel like there is a percentage of you that are keeping a secret from this person. But you love them very much. Uh, you may feel like they're keeping a secret from you. Also, there could be a percentage of you that uh, feel that. But uh, the High Priestess, you may feel also that you were divinely guided to this person. Uh, you know, that this is a, a meant-to-be type of connection. Okay, um, you also may be using your intuition a lot with this person. You may have to feel like you have to. Uh, how they see you, it's the page of swords. Yeah, so they see you as either avoiding a disaster or as trying to rebuild. Also, they see you as probably spying. They probably think that you are watching their social media uh, you know, maybe asking about them. Uh, they could see you. I think that's what it is because I don't feel like, a lot, I feel a lot of you are not communicating, but they may think you're going to reach out. They might think for some of you, they might think that you are going to reach out, but I feel like for most of you, they feel like you are probably, you know, not cyber stalking, but checking them out. We all do it. Everybody does it. You check on that person's social media, see if they posted anything. See when they were active, whatever, you know, people do it in this day and age and they probably know that you are since you are on a break. Okay. And they may also, uh, this is how they see you. They may be seeing you by looking at your social media also Libra. Okay. So, um, how they feel about you eight of swords. I think they're thinking about you an awful lot. They're tied up in their head about you. With this Eight of Knives, that's the Eight of Swords. That's that uh, analysis paralysis card that's just like uh, overthinking and just can't really get you out of their mind, Libra, with that Queen of Pentacles energy. Marriage material. In the past, looks like you guys uh, had quite a connection with the lovers. The lovers is definitely special. It's not just any kind of connection. Both of you probably felt that there was something very special between you. Even if it didn't get off the ground, uh, and for some of you that, that might be the case, but if it wasn't actually lovers, like you were actual lovers, there was definitely that energy in the connection if it didn't actually go that far. But either way, it's a special connection. Um, I do feel like you may have had a conversation in the past about the connection with this King of Swords, or there may have been somebody with a king of swords air energy uh air type of sign on the side that could have been also there could have been a third party the lovers does indicate a choice and you know it's in the past so it could have been you with this person or there could have been a third party in the past and with an air sign masculine type of air sign doesn't have to be contained in a male form though for some of you okay or somebody could have detached from the connection Okay, uh, and the present, though, like I said, the toxicity is releasing. Somebody might be releasing. Actually, I'm going to say for some of you, you could already be married to this person and somebody might be wanting to try to break that bond for some of you. I don't feel like that's for a lot of you, but that could be because the devil is releasing from something that you're tied and bound from. And the Four of Wands is indicative, indicative of a marriage a lot of the times, of a, st a stable connection. So somebody may be trying to break free from this connection. Or there is toxicity releasing in this connection and there is stabilization taking place at the same time. With the toxicity leaving, now stabilization can take place. And you can focus on 
a commitment. A commi commitment is in the air. Whether it's about breaking free from the commitment, breaking out of that commitment, or breaking the, to the toxicity and strengthening the commitment, you have to take it how it resonates for you. Because it could literally be either of those things. Uh, action your love interest is most likely to take towards you with this Eight of Wands. Uh, I feel like they're going to come forward and try to heal the situation with that star. And it's probably going to come out of the blue rather quickly. They're just going to be like, I got to do this. I got to heal the situation. With a quickness, you might get some a text message out of the blue and there'll be fast back and forth uh, text messaging or phone call or they could even come in person. It's not limited to one way. Uh, it's just fast, okay? Um, with that star, like I said, that's healing. That is wish fulfillment. They may be coming forward to fulfill a wish for you or fulfill their own wish. Uh, but they're going to come quickly, I feel. Um, the star is hope, healing. They want to restore hope, healing, and maybe fulfill a wish. Quickly. You're being advised to make your decision if you are deciding between two people, I feel that you need to go with the one that's more stable, or at least that's what this is. I'm not giving you advice. This is the advice that's in the cards. I'm just relaying the messages. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, or the Lord of Skulls here, that is uh, the King of Pentacles. And that's a very stable energy. It is definitely a man. It is not a boy. It is not a boy toy or playboy. It is a grown-ass man. And who the hell doesn't want a grown-ass man? I don't know. I don't want no playboy. Uh, grown man, okay, ready to commit. So, you know, you have to decide. Are you going to commit? Are you going to go with this? Uh, if you're deciding between two people, uh, this is earth energy that you are you have in your advice. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So if you are deciding between two people, you might be being told here to choose the earth sign. Um but either way, you have to make the decision, Libra. You should never give up your power to a reading. You know, you are in control of your own self and you do have your own built-in intuition, intuitive system that you can uh, use for, you know, to make your decisions, to help you make your decisions. But ultimately you're being decided, or you're being advised that this is a very important decision. You need to get down to making it. You need to choose stability, what's going to be the most stable and long-term, or it may be just about the long-term commitment. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Grown-ass man. Hello. Bring it on, okay? Your outcome, your outcome is the Queen of Wands with judgment. So, you may be resurrecting something with a fire sign, or you may have fire in your chart, and somebody, your person is coming back to resurrect something with you. It will be passionate, steamy, in fact, very steamy, um, but it is definitely judgment. It, it could be a decision. So we do see that you're being advised to make a decision. So this could be you making the decision. You could choose the fire sign. You could be the fire sign here, the Queen of Wands, making the decision, okay? Or it could be a resurrection, which this person has come aboard to heal, possibly even resurrect a connection that may have uh, seen better days, okay? Um, let's get some more cards and find out some more. Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order they are laid out for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Libra, October 2019. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for October 2019. Clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out, please. didn't have another Halloween themed deck, so I'm just using the Radiant Wise Spirit for my second clarifying deck. I was going to use the Fairy deck, because, you know, fairies, people dress up as fairies or whatever, but those cards are just, I'm just not a big fan of the cards. They're too big, awkward to shuffle, and I just, I just not a big fan. All right, so let's get your cards out here. Four of Cups, Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Justice, the Four of Wands, again, in reverse. 
Two of Wands, Seven of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, currently in reverse. Ooh, and your overall energy, the Hierophant, Taurus, could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Let's see. Again, some of you could definitely already be married to this person. Spirit, upright or reverse the Hierophant, please. The Four of Cups. The Eight of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. Justice. The Four of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Seven of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. Awesome. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. Sorry, it looks a little messy. I can't, like, I just can't. I can't even. They're slippery, and they keep messing up. Okay. So, yeah, Libra, overall energy, the Hierophant. Again, you could be dealing with a Taurus, but you could definitely already be married to this person with this card. This is like one of the very strongest marriage cards in the deck, if not the strongest. Um, it doesn't have to be marriage. Could be tradition uh, or traditional values, traditional thinking. Could be education, but I feel it here it is indicating a commitment. It's it's commitment. I mean, it's a really, that's really what it is. It doesn't have to be an actual marriage. Could just be, you know, commitment, long-term relationship type thing, or just leveling up to exclusive dating, whatever. But commitment is a theme in your overall energy. And underneath that is the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. Underneath that is the Knight of Cups. Somebody expressing love. Okay. How you feel about this person, Libra? You love them with that Ace of Cups. Like I said before, you are getting tarot readings. You are maybe keeping a secret from them, or they keep. You might be feeling they're keeping a secret from you, and you may want to. You might be thinking about offering them something, but uh, you're afraid of being rejected, or they have offered you something, and you are kind of like apathetic about it. Like mm, I don't know what. I don't know if I really want to go that route, or you just could be. You're not sure. You haven't made a decision yet. So you could be confused about it or just not really feeling it, um, not accepting or rejecting the offer. So if you receive the offer, you may not be accepting or rejecting it and not knowing really what to do. Uh, maybe why you're getting a tarot reading with that priestess. Uh, or you could be thinking about sending an offer to this person but are afraid of being rejected. Again, getting a tarot reading with the priestess. <laughs> um but I do think some of you are keeping a secret from your person or, and some of you probably ha are thinking that your person is keeping, keeping a secret from you. Uh, how they see you, I think they know you don't wanna walk away. I think they know you wanna rebuild this uh, situation with them because apparently you guys may have had a tower moment with this person and now they see you as wanting to either avoid a future, another tower moment or avoid an initial tower moment if you didn't have one already or wanting to rebuild after the tower. I do think that they are aware that you are spying on them through social media. No judgment at all, okay? I will tell you, I mean, I, I'm not completely free of guilt there. I've done it. I think most of us have. Like I said, in this day and age, it's really hard not to, right? So I think they know that you are. I think they know that you don't want to walk away. That's how they see you. You don't want to walk away, or they see you as coming back. You may have already come back. Maybe you offered them. Hmm. How they feel about you, they want uh, balance and reciprocity from you, uh, Libra. They do see you as marriage material. If You may already be married to them, so they may see you as their wife. She's very oftentimes a wife already. I hope that, I can't see the camera, so I hope you can see the cards. Um, but yeah, I mean, they do see you as their wife or future wife. They can definitely see that, and they're all caught up in their head about it. Uh, they want fairness and balance between you and reciprocity. That's reciprocated feelings. I think 
if you're wondering if they reciprocate your feelings, I think they do. And if they might be wondering if you reciprocate theirs, I mean, if you don't, if you haven't told them, that's what they want. Okay. In the past, uh, yeah, you guys might be married with that justice card. I got to say King of Swords, um, a decision could have been made about to get married. I mean, it's the lovers, it's justice. It could have been, uh, or it could have been something karmic. Certainly it could be something karmic. I mean, the lovers indicates a possible soulmate, uh, that you could be dealing with. And justice for me, uh, is a very much a soulmate card because it, it definitely represents karma. So you could have been working out some karma with this person. Like I said, there could have been a decision made. There could have been a third party. And this is also your card, Libra. Okay. So you're showing up there in your own reading. So there could have been a third party. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could have been a Libra. Maybe there was a, a third party. Maybe somebody stepped out with a Libra, another Libra, or maybe you stepped out Libra, um, in the past or a choice was made. Currently. Okay. You have the four of wands twice. Okay. So the current energy is, uh, toxicity releasing either within an existing commitment or toxicity is releasing and now we can actually focus on the idea of a commitment. But if this is not already happening, it's at your door. Um, somebody could be releasing from the commitment altogether. I did say that. I, I still believe that could be the case for some of you. Okay. The action that your person is most likely to take towards you, it looks like they're at a crossroads too. Or they may come and give you an ultimatum, Libra, actually. I just heard ultimatum. So something out of the blue fast, they may come in, uh, to try to heal the situation and they may actually give you an ultimatum or they may just be coming in to tell you that they choose you, uh, with that star. That is definitely a very nice card to have in the action that they're going to take towards you. They definitely want to heal the situation, but they may see you as having a choice, um, or they may be choosing you. This is also about, you know, you could live at a distance from this person. So they may be coming forward and traveling to see you. Um, also, this is uh, about progress. There could be progress. So they could be coming uh, forward really quickly out of the blue to heal the situation and try to make some kind of headway and progress in this connection, this commitment, either existing or future. Okay, your advice, uh, you might be focused on too many options, Libra. I don't know what you got going on, but you may have been very confused or uh, having a lot of options in the past, uh, and you're being told to go ahead and make that decision. And we see that with the two of one, down your choices, and we do have this Randy Earth sign right here, uh, Lord of Skulls, that's the King of Pentacles, so you could be being advised to choose somebody with a strong Earth in their chart or a King of Pentacles type which is very committed and grounded and abundant. Very good with his coins. He's a loving energy. Good guy, okay? So you certainly could be being avo uh, I mean, advised to uh, choose that person or just choose what is going to be the most stable future for you. The most, uh, what has the most stability? Who has the most stability? You, this could have also been day, a lot of dreaming and quit dreaming and actually, you know, do something. Uh, I feel more or stop daydreaming, get your head out of the clouds and make the decision could certainly also be. But I feel like for a lot of you, you may have more than one option to choose between. And uh, spirit likes the earth sign. Okay, Libra. Um, yeah, I mean, here's your outcome. We have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, Judgment. I would say there's going to be some sort of resurrection. So if your person, you know, maybe this person has been keeping you waiting or, you know, this, the Knight of Pentacles is a good guy. I mean, he just is very slow. So, so slow. He's very cautious, but, uh, and very, you know, meticulous to the details and everything. And, uh, but he, he takes so long, but when he gets there, he really is a good guy and he really does have good stuff to offer. Okay. Um, so you may have already been with this earth sign that could be your person. And there, if you're on a break from them, it does look like there is going to be a resurrection of that connection. Judgment is reconciliation for sure. Passionate, grounded, stable. Okay. Uh, but it could just be, this is you. You could have fire in your chart. 
being told you, you finally make that decision and maybe you do choose that earth sign that you're being possibly for some of you advised here to go ahead and choose okay uh, but it looks like stability is coming it looks like judgment is coming a decision or resurrection of something that was dead passion is coming the queen of wands she is beautiful sexy energy so you know that is an interesting reading you do have the ten of cups in your overall energy and your uh the hierophant here so that is definitely heavy marriage energy so if you're if you're not married to this person already you may be getting married to this person sometime or thinking about it during the month of october and uh, for some of you, you definitely are already married to this person. So I hope this re reading resonated with you. If it did, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. If it didn't, go ahead and check out your moon, venus, and rising signs because you certainly could find something there. Please drop me a comment and let me know what you think of the new setup. If you uh, have been here before or even if you haven't, if you like it, let me know. I love it. I, I uh, hope that you do too. So um, on that note, I'll go ahead and say goodbye. And I'll see you in November, Libra. Thanks. Bye.